Hi folks, Harry Frank from Gray Machine here, and in this tutorial, I'd like to walk you through a bit of a hidden gem in After Effects. I call this a hidden gem because not a lot of people seem to know about this feature, and people kind of do this the hard way, and uh, there's a much easier way to do this. And this, what I'm talking about, is focus distance from your camera to your 3D objects if you're using a depth of field setting. So you probably know in your camera settings, under options, which you can hit uh, access by hitting AA, you have a depth of the field, which you can turn on and off, and you can set a focus distance to put things in focus, and you can scrub around to put different layers in focus. Now there's different ways to automate this process. There's been tutorials on writing expressions to make this happen, but uh, little known to many people is that there is a feature built right into After Effects that allows you to put things in focus in a number of different ways. So a first uh, way to do this, first way, is uh, something called set focus. And what this does is basically a one-time deal where it puts the object you've selected in focus with the camera that you've selected. Now, if you don't select the camera or the object, you're going to get an error. So make sure to select both the, uh, something you want to be in focus as well as a camera. So with those selected, you go to layer camera and say set focus distance to layer. It's going to immediately put that layer in focus and basically the only thing it changes is the focus distance it just measures the distance between the two uh, the position of the camera and the position of the object and measures that in pixels and set this focus distance now what this doesn't take into consideration is well and first of all any motion of the camera so if i move this it's going to push itself out of uh focus as well looks like i've moved my particle layer down there we go so if I move this around, it's going to go back out of focus because it's not tracking the layer. It's just a one-time deal where the, uh, the object is put into focus at this point in time. The other limitation is that this doesn't take into consideration any parenting with the camera. So this is just kind of a simple one-shot deal and uh, not quite as useful. So let me show you a little better of a way to go about this. There's another feature called link focus to layer, and this is what I would suggest to use. Now, we can link this to any specific layer. Let's say I want it to link to this layer right here. I can go to camera, link focus to layer. And again, I've got to have the camera and object selected. Make sure the object is 3D and link the focus to the layer. Now, as I move this name, it will continuously stay in focus. It's doing this by using an expression, um, which you can take a look at by selecting the camera, hitting EE, and looking at focus distance there. And it's actually a big long expression that takes all different types of things into account. Uh, has error messages in there if you select the wrong kind of layer and all that kind of stuff. Now I wouldn't suggest doing it this way uh, just because this kind of limits you as my camera flies in and let's say I have this name in focus that's great but let's say I'd like to shift focus to another name. Well I can't really do that if I've locked it to a name. So I'm going to go into my camera here just show you how to remove this. So if you go into the camera, you can hold on Alt or Option and blow away that expression by clicking on the stopwatch. You can also just add the expression again, and it'll just say, hey, I see that you've already got an expression. Let's uh, figure out what to do. And uh, well, I'll show you. So I'll just leave that expression on there. So um, rather than link it to a name, let's go to Layer, New Null Object, and we'll link our focus to a null rather than uh, a specific layer. So I'll put this right about where the this first name is. In fact, I'll just copy and paste this position to the null object. So as this lands, we will animate this null from here. And then let's uh, put Felix Berry into focus back there. That is right here. So I'll just copy this position and paste that to the null. So this null is going to move from this uh, first name position to the second name position, and it will follow the focus from one to the other. Let's also ease these keyframes. So now I will go to my camera and select the null one, go to layer, camera, link focus distance to layer. It's going to say it's already got a focus distance expression. This will override it. Okay. So now our focus distance is controlled by the null. So this camera flies in. It's actually already tracking the focus to this layer because the null is in the same spot. Camera lands, and then the null moves and puts the other layer into focus. Very cool. 
Now, again, there have been exp uh, tutorials on this in the past that go into uh, writing the expressions manually, but if you don't have to do it, then don't do it. This is actually a much easier way to do it. It's built right into After Effects to select these. The other option in here, I'm not even going to show because I don't find much use in it, which is linking the focus distance to the point of interest of the camera, which is this thing right here where the camera is pointing. And I can't see much reason to do that. Uh, there might be some reason to do that, but um, I would rather just, just use a null object. So those are the automated focus controls in After Effects. My name is Harry Frank. Thank you so much for watching.